It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Tennessee Titans and the Pittsburgh Steelers. And it's all up next. Now the temperatures are cooling off, but the sun is still shining, and that makes for perfect football weather in the city of Pittsburgh at Acrisure Stadium. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here, as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Here in the Steel City, I'm Brandon Gordon, joined by my partner, Charles Davis. And Charles, it doesn't matter what year it is, who the players are that are wearing the black and gold, it is never an easy assignment to come in and win here in Pittsburgh on this field. And this team always takes on the identity of this city. They're gonna be tough physically, but they're also gonna be tough mentally. Just three head coaches in 54 years, they've established their program, they know who they are. Good luck coming in and trying to take one from the Steelers. But meanwhile, the Titans last year, they were one of those strange statistical anomalies, CD. When you look at their defense, they were the best in football, number one overall against the run, but worst in the league, number 32 against the pass. And part of the reason they were number one against the run, the struggles they had slowing people down through the air. So people threw it and threw it and threw it and had great success. And a team that should have been in the playoffs last year somehow managed to miss it. Chris a kicker Chris Boswell has it ready to go and we are underway from Pittsburgh and it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29 so here are the Titans now for their first drive now leading him out a motivated rookie out of Kentucky fell to the early portion of the second round of the drafts it's Will Levis I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, Oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Levis to throw it. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. Levis back to throw. That is incomplete. That's exactly what defense is talking about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense is going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. Now on fourth down, here's Ryan Stonehouse to punt for Tennessee. The back deep for the Steelers is Calvin Austin. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And out will come the offense as they take over. So out come the Steelers now for their first drive. They're led out by the second-year pro out of Pitt, looking for a big jump in year two, Kenny Pickett. And when you watch Kenny Pickett play, you see a young man who got better every season in college and really blossomed in his final campaign, took his game to a new level, and made him a first-round pick in the NFL. He's the type of kid who can beat you with his mind, beat you with his arm, and occasionally with his legs. A tough, skilled performer. Kenny Pickett, he's got some moxie to him. And they get to him right out of the gate. And this defense, hoping that that's a harbinger of things to come. Yeah, when you give up a first-place sack, makes your quarterback wonder if he's going to go to the sidelines and talk with his offense coordinator and head coach and say, hey, you know that game plan we put together? We might need to change it right now. Dime look defensively here for the Titans on third. 
Back to throw, pick it. And the Titan defense steps up here and down he goes. The sack by Harold Landry, the former Boston College Eagle. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. He'll take it at the 42. And just a net of 31 here. 40-yard punt, nine on the return. And the Titans are going to start this drive in great field position as they take over first and 10. Levis now on first and 10. This one downfield to Burks. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A good pick up there, 26 yards. second and nine a one-yard gain could look like a disaster but it all depends on how the game is going is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball if that's the case you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more but if it's just the occasional one-yard run hey congratulations to the defense they won that one come back and get them the next time this is caught touchdown deandre hopkins a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans are on the board first here this afternoon. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open, he has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream. One you don't want to wake up from. But for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. Nick Folk for the point after. And this is good. Our score, 7-0 Tennessee. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it's finished off by the touchdown from DeAndre Hopkins. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25. Austin not going to try and return it. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now the third-year man, Najee Harris. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Someone's looking fresh, and his old line is definitely looking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. Just need a yard here, second and one. They'll run again with Harris. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. 
The man in motion left here, Johnson. Now they fake the jet sweep there and a run instead with Harris. He finds some way to turn this into positive yardage as he struggles forward for a pickup of about two. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Pickett sets up play action. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. Now a third down throw is the target incomplete. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the, at the 15 yard line. Not too bad. Out come the Titans now. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he is going to lose yardage here. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? Second down, they go again with Henry. They're going to drop him behind the line yet again, and things going from bad to worse. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. Well, that was not what you would call straight line pursuit for a middle linebacker to make this play. He's got to work his way through the clutter to get to the ball carrier on the outside. And he does exactly that. That's called avoiding the trash. Levis on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. So, Charles, you know, take nothing away from this young man under center because I know people think he's got a very bright future in this league, but... I have to figure the defensive coordinators love the thought of squaring off against a rookie quarterback. And especially if they have guys they can put together a game plan with that's going to confuse, disguise a lot of coverage, make this kid think a little bit. Because in college, he's seen a lot of things. Let's, let's not get it wrong here. But at the same time, in the NFL, you can do so much more because of the athletes you have, because of their football IQ. And don't forget, you're going to throw a couple extra rushers at him as well. See if he can handle the pressure when those guys come at him. Now a second and six. Running left, it's Henry. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Two things to watch. First is strength and being able to break out of that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. Now Levis. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? Here's Levis. And that is incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. On fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse saw the punt. And he 
is a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. Pickett leads the Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at their own 25-yard line. Harris will start the drive out. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. But they certainly got dented with that first down run. So now they've got to be back on their heels a little bit as a defense. Now second and five. In motion left, Robinson. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Well, if you look where that play starts, O-line versus D-line, that was a battle won by the D-line. Yeah, and oftentimes it's won by quickness off the ball. Who can handle the guy across from them best? On that play, the defensive line did exactly that. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that'll move the ball downfield. Here's Presley Harvin now. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Titans getting set and ready to go here for their next drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Ball on the 27, here's second down and five. Off the play fake, Levis. Rolling to his right. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. I haven't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there. No hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. As a linebacker, you're taught to stay just slightly behind the ball carrier just in case he makes a cutback. But when you find the gap, shoot it and he found it all right took it straight into the backfield and made the tackle for a loss levis to throw off play action this pass deep for a Kakwo. and that's caught inside the 30 and he is out of bounds but not before he's inside the 30. how about a 39 yard pickup they'll take it boy they've definitely come out of the gate smoking here in the first quarter whatever they've tried to run has worked and there's another example right there Game plan is one thing, but how about his accuracy? It's been exceptional. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. In motion is Phillips. Now they'll fake the jet sweep here and throw off play action. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. T.J. Watt causing the disruption. He gets the sack. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now, Titans in possession of the football. So second and long and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Levis sets up to throw here. He gets this one to Burks. Gets through and now an opening. Touchdown, Titans. Traylon Burks, 
six yards. And the Titans have taken a two touchdown lead now. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. Now Folk for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. A drive that time of six plays. And it was Traylon Burks capping things off with a touchdown catch. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taking it at about the one. And able to get this out to the 25. Pittsburgh offense making their way back out. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second down and six. A handoff for Warren. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. The offense on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and four. On oh, the delay, here's Harris. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. So they opted to run the ball there on third down on their side of the field. I wonder if that was a call play. Or did he check into it? And if he did, that took a lot of guts because on his own side of the field, an obvious passing down, decides to run the football and they pick up the first down. Give that man a ton of credit. Now Pickett, he's got this to his running back, Harris. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up second down. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Here's Pickett on second down. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always gonna be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw or maybe the ball's tipped or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. Tennessee's offense back to work again. We'll see Traylon Burks. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day because otherwise he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. Henry again on second down. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down, but if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground, and that they did that time for a loss. Levis looking to throw. That is caught, and he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. 
12 yards on third down as the drive rolls on. A lot of deflated looks on that defense. It seems like they just could not find a way to get a key stop on third down. Here's another conversion, and now this offense, they're in a position to go up even further as they've got it first and goal. Now they'll try and set up the quarterback draw here. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Tried to go draw play out of the gun down here. Yeah, they tried to spread things out, didn't they? They wanted to move people away from the center of the field, away from the line of scrimmage near the ball, so that the runner could find some space unsuccessfully, though. Little bootleg here. Levis. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Trevon Wesco from six yards away. And the Titans take a three-touchdown lead. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long. And this time, that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around. They're reading coverages early. So now they're like seasoned pros earlier in their career. How about this one here? If they win this ball game, a game ball definitely coming from his head coach. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25. Austin not going to try and return it. The Steeler offense set to regain possession. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Johnson goes in motion left. They'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead, a handoff up the middle. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at him and right up the middle. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way. If they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. On the give, it's Warren. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brings up second and nine. Now pick it. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. It's got third down and nine yards to go. Now they got to get to the 23 here on third. Here's Pickett. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. I know all players are taught 
from drive to drive, from series to series. Let that go, right? Only focus on the now. But when that ball was tipped in the air, there's no way they weren't thinking about the interception that was thrown on the previous drive. Could this turn into a second one? And if it did, that could really change the way this game was going. Boswell's kick is good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So they do come up with their first points of the game, but Charles, the question is going to shift to their defense. Yeah, the way things have gone, three points could become insignificant fast if this grows to 28 to three or 35 to three. They need this defense to come up with a stop, and they need to do it now. After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. And this take it in at the goal line. Room to run at the 50. Still going inside the 30. Touchdown, Titans! Officially at even 100 yards, coast to coast on the kick return. And the Titans continue to pull away here in this first half. Such an electric play, so much fun to watch, and you need all 11 guys in sync for that to be successful, don't you? Without a doubt. That's, that's teamwork, to be able to put it all together, but that play is really probably the most exciting 10 seconds in football. Full connects on the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. So now the other return teams out there is they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. Austin elects to bring this out of the end zone. Now a hit and a loose football. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And they're going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. As that ball got away from him and he saw the opposing team recover it. You felt his pain? Oh, I felt his pain, and you know what was going through his head. Tuck it away. Mm. Take care of the ball. All the things he hears all week in practice, he didn't carry it over into the game. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Back to throw, it's Levis. Over the middle, complete. It's Phillips. And the Titans are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Henry. He is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Definitely an important sequence here for this defense. They've had their share of struggles in this first half. They just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here. Second and goal from the six this time. Levis. Steps away to his left. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans! Will Levis, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Titans are pouring it on. But defensively, it didn't seem like anybody had eyes on the quarterback, and he took advantage. So you think that maybe you were seeing some pretty good instincts for a young guy? Because that's the thing you worry about. Coming out of college, you're used to getting away with just about anything you want to do. You're just superior. Here, he has to read it, figure it out, and know when it's time to go. Extra point up and good by Folk, and the route is on here in this first half.
There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Here comes the Pittsburgh Steelers and running back Najee Harris. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complementary football and get that passing game going as well. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Pickett will look to throw it here. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. And the Steelers on third down. Just one for five to this point. This will be third and five. Pick it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's been a very one-sided game so far. They gotta change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't, because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. On first and 10, it's Pickett. Now a short pass pulled in by Washington, and down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We remind you that coming up in two minutes time, we'll hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Meanwhile, Pickett's throw pulled in by Robinson here. He's got his first catch here before halftime and it goes for a first down. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting at once, you get first half scores just like this one. They'll throw again with Pickett. And this is caught. And he'll be out of bounds. A gain of 37. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd
the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're gonna cherish.